When it comes to online classes, we're all going back to school. Some just either call your name to make sure you're here or they just check the list of everyone that's in the class at the moment. Students, teachers, and parents. In a nutshell, I'm chaotic. All taking a crash course on remote learning. And the grades are mixed. Kind of difficult. Like, it's the learning by myself, really. The learning by myself, it's kind of difficult. A survey of hundreds of districts around the country exposed students in high poverty communities were spending less time in their remote classes last spring. A 3 News investigation looking just at the data from the start of this fall semester suggests that problem still persists in Cuyahoga County, as suburban schools scored higher than inner city schools in one key area, attendance. It's good. It's an adjustment, but it's working out. In suburban Parma, where Abby Maloro goes to school, the district is seeing near perfect attendance, 97% logging on at her school, Normandy High, and 98% at Parma High School. 3 News found similar results at Shaker Heights High School and Beachwood High School. I say fair, it's going fair. But in Cleveland Metro schools, where 37,000 students have been in virtual classes since March, 3 News found roughly 5,600 students not regularly logging on. Sometimes a Chromebook goes out. Mm -hmm. And we've been up here twice to get new Chromebooks because this one will go dead. While Cleveland Metro Schools has given students Chromebooks and hotspots, Brenda Cook Weem says her son Thomas often has problems logging on. How many times has that happened? Uh, twice. This is the second time. And perhaps even more troubling is Cleveland's high school attendance. The most recent data available shows only 63% of students logging on at Thomas's school, Glenville High, on par with the 64% average attendance at John F. Kennedy and 66% at Collinwood High School. Yes, I am very disappointed. 63% is not good. Parents of elementary age children are also reporting challenges. If you don't have anyone at home to help you log on, then sometimes it's hard for the kids to log on. By me being at home with him, it's a little easier for me to help him because he can't log on on his own. It's going to take us some time to recover from this pandemic, which we're not out of yet. Eric Gordon, the superintendent of Cleveland Metro Schools, acknowledges the challenges and simply tells us they're working on it. Our attendance liaisons and attendance office are trying to reach out and find those kids that are just absolutely not signing on. When the pandemic is finally over, there's going to be an educational recovery, not just in Cleveland, but in this country. I also want to note that attendance in Cleveland schools has always been an issue, where historically 7-8% to 8 of students are absent each day. I reached out to a number of Northeast Ohio school districts for this report. To see what they all had to say, you can head on over to our website, that's WKYC.com. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.